I've always had a fascination for buggies. Dennis Williams builds buggies. That one don't want to go in. We started out in May of last year. Back in the days of the blacksmiths and the wheelwrights, they didn't quite do this. <clears throat> his buggies are old fashioned, but the tools of his trade are not. Dennis and Donna Williams thought it would take a couple of years to get their buggy building business established. But within a few months, they had more orders than they anticipated. It just keeps getting bigger all the time. And this is the same way they've done it probably for ever since buggy started getting made. The most demanding part, he says, is getting the wheels right. Make sure I do everything right, or if I don't, it'll goof it up. Dennis Williams was a cabinet maker and a welder before becoming a buggy maker. There's no schools to go to. There's no, it's like a trade or a craft that you would have to have hands-on experience. A lot of what I learned of it is just a process of trial and error. And I'll... I didn't really, lure, uh, didn't really ruin too much material learning it. Each one takes about a month to build and costs a couple thousand dollars to buy. Dennis Williams says he finds satisfaction in building a good buggy, but finds pleasure in wheeling one of his creations out for a test ride. Oh, babe. <sighs> oh. Wait till I get in. <sighs> Come on, get up there. Oh, golly. The quietness of it, and there's a certain nostalgia there that uh, everybody likes to think of how their forefathers did something or how my grandparents did something way back years ago on the either coming across the prairie or through the woods or over the mountains. Most of them did it by buggy or wagon or horse. Good girl. Dennis Williams taking the reins of an old business in new times.